Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about ATM. Are you using the ATM in your business? If you're not, you're missing out massively. And if you will start using it, it will make your life a lot easier. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, please do say new in the comments as well, because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And of course, if you do get some value from this video, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else well, from your team or somebody you know will get some value as well. So, because uh, this video I think will be useful for a lot of you guys. Uh, let me just say hi to a few people. Hey, Sarah. Uh, hey Louise, uh, nice to see you guys. Thanks for jumping on. So today's topic is ATM, using ATM in your business, right? Now, um, that doesn't stand for automated teller machine, right? For the cash point, uh, even though that's, that's also a good alternative because this can become a cash point in your business, right? But this is meant to make your life easier as a leader and help you to scale your business massively. Uh, so um, if you're not using it yet, I highly uh, will encourage you to use it. If you are using it, then rock and roll, right? So what does ATM stands for? Well, the A stands for ad, right? It stands for ad. The T stands for tag. And then M stands for message, ad, tag message. What is it? So the first time I heard about this was from a, a girl called Jessie Lee Ward. She's an incredible uh, network marketer. Absolutely awesome. If you, uh, if you don't know her yet, go follow her on social media. She's an absolute rock star. Um, but she basically developed the system in her business because she just got fed up. <laughs> she just got fed up with people asking same questions over and over again. People asking her to do the same presentation over and over again. And she went like, I'm having 50 calls a day saying exactly the same thing. It doesn't make sense. Repeating same thing over and over. So she said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and record a business presentation video. I'm going to upload it into this group. And from now on, Every time I recruit somebody or anybody in my team recruits somebody, what you do, you add the person into the group, you tag the person on the video, and then you message the person saying, hey, John, I've added you to the group, watch the video and give me, you know, uh, a message once you've finished watching the video, right? So this way, it started making her business much bigger and grow much faster because her business was no longer relying just on her to physically do the presentation, to physically explain the business to somebody else. Instead, all of her team members were ATMing, right? Adding people to the group, tagging people on the video, and then messaging the people saying them, hey, I've did that, right? Then she realized, wow, we can use this in many different ways. What about training, right? This is one of the reasons why I started making videos. Like most people think that I started making videos to become a, you know, social media celebrity to attract people to my business. And I wish I was that intelligent, but I wasn't. <laughs> when I first started making videos, the only reason why I started making videos is because I also got fed up with people asking same questions, like how to use the online shop, how to create the referral link, how to send people to this thing, right? So I just thought, let me go ahead and record a video. And then every time somebody asks me that question, I just go, hey, watch this video. Hey, watch this video. Hey, watch this video, right? So you can do exactly the same thing. You know, the videos are already there. You know, most of you um, already have videos as a resources. So all you have to do is just make up your group, right? So you can have a group for your team with training videos. So every time somebody asks a question, you add them to the group, tag them on the video and message them. Say, hey, Lee, I just tagged you on the video. Watch that video and message me as soon as you watch that video, right? You can have the same thing for business opportunity. So prospects, people you reaching out to and people reaching out to you about your business opportunity, you can have a separate group called business opportunity group, right? With your business opportunity video. You go, great, let me add you to the group tag you on the video, you know, and message that person, hey, I've tagged you on the video. Let me know as soon as you watched it, right? So this way, it creates duplication. There is no Chinese whispers. 
Because you see, you might say, well, well, I don't have to explain everything to my whole team. I just explain to my people and then they explain to their people. Trust me, if I go six, seven, eight levels down in your organization, people will be saying completely different thing than what you said to the first person, right? You know that. You maybe played that game before where you whisper something in somebody's ear and they whisper the same thing in somebody else's ear. And by the time it's 10 people down, it's completely different, right? Because it just changes the message. But when it's written on paper or it's on the video, it doesn't change. Your team can grow 40 levels down and it's still the same message. It's still the same training. It's still the same presentation because they're using a template. They're using the video that's created or they're using a, a, a PDF or a Word document that's created. You know what I mean? So this way, it doesn't change your business. It doesn't change the message. So everybody's doing what they're supposed to do and they're doing it professionally, right? Because of the simple process, right? So if you're not using it yet, use it in your business. If you have it in your business, then use it in your business. And if you haven't got it, create it, right? It's not a problem. You can create your own Facebook group, start adding resource videos, and then start tagging your team members and explain to them that that's what you do when your team member asks. This way, your team members become more independent. Then they know where to find the information. They know how to teach their own team members without you having to be present at all times, you know, holding them by the hand, etc. So that's my tip for today, guys. I hope it was useful. If it was useful, feel free to share this video. And if you'd like to get my free training on 26 different ways how to get more customers and sell more products, head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash sales. You guys have a great rest of your evening. Love you loads. See you at the top. Bye for now.